uh, folks, I like um, I like reaction videos and I like uh, malt beverages, so I'm gonna try uh, a little of both. Um, get the old light. I don't. What what do we have here? Is a oh what do we got? Uh, Boisson du malt alcoolisé. Um, it says alcoholic malt beverage. And now, it's it's alcoholic apple juice. But I just, I want to do another video. And this says malt on the can. I won't take up too much of your time. We got a five minute uh, clip here from a group called The Frantics. And it's called, what is it, Strange? Frantic Times. Anyway, I'm gonna, I, this is a, a story that is apparently quite odd. And he says I've heard it before, but I don't remember. And it's a pretty weird story. And at one minute, well, let's uh, let's get into it. I suppose you'd call me an average, Joe. Everything about me is pretty normal for a 35-year-old guy. I've got a pleasant job, a nice family, ordinary, run-of-the-mill life. So it came as a great surprise to me when I tunneled to the center of the earth with titanium teeth and became king of the mole people. <laughs> but perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. It all started last Tuesday morning when I okay. came down to breakfast. My lovely wife Janet stood at the stove in her usual cotton frock, frying my usual omelet. My lovely daughter Trudy gave me my usual morning kiss, and as usual, she said, Good morning, Daddy. Well, my usual reaction to all of this is to hug my wife and kiss Trudy, but last Tuesday, my reaction was totally unexpected. I snarled and salivated and threw over the carefully set breakfast table, and then I dove through the kitchen window. No, it was Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Get the details. That's not important. <laughs> now, I've always had good teeth. Dad's side of the family there. Yet, until that day, I had no idea that they were made out of indestructible titanium alloys and that my entire jaw could extend out five feet in front of me and dig like a massive mandible at a blur of speed. Hello. <laughs> so I started burrowing straight down to the center of the earth, through mm. clay, rock, mm. and burning seas of molten I need a lava. timeout. And the crazy... Hold on, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, folks. I remember it now. I got a cop to... This is a live reaction video, but I got a cop to it. I do remember... <laughs> the joke for the... <laughs> Tunneled to the center of the earth and became king of the mole people. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. I think it was a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. What would you call that comedy? That's absurdity. In incongruence. Exquisite absurdity. <laughs> um, perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I think it was Tuesday. You think? <laughs> Shall we? What do we got? Oh, we got another three and a half minutes. Well, I, I brought along a 16-ounce can of the Coors along with the 8-ounce can I already had going before we started. But this is already four minutes in and we got three minutes left. Let's do it, folks. Thank you. His thing, <coughs> I didn't get Rugby. my characteristic heat rash. Well, at last I crashed through into Mole World, this odd inverted land inside the earth where everything is upside down. And above your head, at the center of the earth, is this glowing sphere that provides light for the mole people. Isn't it always the way, the things you see when you don't have a camera? <laughs> but we do! Ah, then we've got a glowing a light here that provides... Yeah. Oh, wow. I snuck forward, and there in the clearing before me, a ferocious battle was being fought. The cruel groundhog people were attacking the fire with a stupid little button-eyed mole people with broadswords and battle axes. Star well, Trek fans out there. you could say Jack Robinson, there I was in the thick of it all, attacking and killing scores of groundhogs with my blade-like teeth. Well, 
<laughs> not turned the battle for the mole people. I suppose I should listen the to you. The ground hogs and the The home fun. team had won, and all because of me. The grateful mole people carried me triumphantly through the twisted streets of Mole City. <laughs> Thousands of moles cheered me on. I was carried to the palace where, for the first time in my life, a brunch was held in my honor. <laughs> A brunch. I was feasted with grubs and roots and steaming flagons of lava. <laughs> Quite a change for a meat and potatoes man like me. The writhing mole dancing girl surrounded me, stretching and clawing the air suggestively. I drank, I sang, I joined them in their riotous debauch. My oh, glasses fogged. Off the camera. Then suddenly the multitude grew expectant turning to bow before a regal carriage that was pulled by a giant earthworm. It stopped before me. Quite a rig, I thought. <laughs> now, I've been married to a lovely gal for seven happy years. But when I saw Num Nu the Mole Queen step from his bed, <laughs> I threw caution to the wind. <laughs> Num Nu the Mole Queen! Shimmering translucent robes, which did nothing to conceal her. We're in Canada, there's extra shit going on. <laughs> what a rig! <laughs> no new the mole queen! <laughs> what a rig! Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Woo! Let's keep it going. 6.44. Oh, God. What a rig. We got a minute and 15 left in this story. <laughs> what a rig! <laughs> the frantics, folks. You're already on YouTube. Check them out. Oh, my God. I'm going to. Let's go. <laughs> Rick! Clad only in shimmering translucent robes, which did nothing to conceal her twelve pert teats. <laughs> I remember it now. I grew <laughs> into my furry arms. I pressed my eager lips to her fragrant snout. Our two bodies commingled, and we rutted in full sight of the screaming, cheering multitudes who joined us in an orgy of excess to celebrate the defeat of the groundhog enemy. <laughs> well, the next day, of course, I was back at work. <laughs> I hugged my wife and kissed Trudy. Janet was pretty good about the whole thing. She forgave me. But she added somewhat tartly that she'd never understand what I did in a million years. <laughs> That's why this morning, when she grew gills and rocketed through the roof, I just had to smile. I just had to smile. Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, sorry, folks. Well, hey, I wanted to do a reaction video, and I got to get rid of this can. Here I am waving other cans in the air. We all knew this was going to happen. Cheers, folks. Here's one out of the, out of the blue reaction video. Oh. Tune in to see that. Yes. Uh, oh, uh. So, thank you, folks. This has been uh, my first uh, reaction video that still contained a beverage with malt written on the can. I I'm making do. I'm on an island in the middle, you know, on the eastern part of this. We're on an island. We don't get malt liquor here. I have to bring it myself. I'm sorry. I've wasted a lot of your time. Uh... Thank you, thank you for uh, watching and commenting. And, uh, reaction videos are fun. I can see why everybody likes to do them. <laughs> oh, anyway, I gotta go. You know, breathe sensibly for a few minutes before I try that again. So, good night, everybody.